What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Matthias, who's bringing a Tapu Bulu. I've never been against a Tapu Bulu, ever. Um, he's bringing a Dragon Knight, which I haven't seen. Um, I keep saying we haven't seen this in Generation 6, but I think we saw it in, on the Wi-Fi battle recently. I don't recall. Um, looking at Matthias' team, I need to get rid of the Bulu. And I need to get rid of the Clefable if I want to do damage with my boy Reggie Drago here. So to start things off, um, I assume he's going to start Swampert. And because of that, I'm going to start Dalamize. The worst thing he can start with is, gonna act is actually going to be the Clefable. So I don't know, actually. I think I'm going to stick with my Dalamize lead. Predict the Swampert to come out. And we're going to go ahead and go from there. If you guys missed the last two Wi-Fi battles, this is the Wi-Fi battle number three with this team. I love your lead card. You look like a straight-up villain, Matthias. But make sure you go check him out. The first Wi-Fi battle that we had was against my boy Jaden Tomo. No spoil alerts. That was a really good battle. As I predicted, Swampert is coming out in a beast ball shiny. That is absolutely beautiful. Wi-Fi battle number two was actually a really good Wi-Fi battle also. So make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't already. Now, I don't want to complicate things. I think he's gonna switch out, but I, I'm gonna go for the power whip straight up. We're just gonna hit the power whip up in this. Power whip, um, okay, he withdraws. He's probably gonna go into Dragon Knight, hopefully. Slow King actually comes out. Not bad, it's a psychic type. So I think I can hit it with the Depulter guys. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be good. I outspeed it. I got 44 speed, I, uh, speed EVs. So we'll be okay. All right, Pulter guys. This is actually a really good start for us because we got rid of one poke. Okay, I saw this. We got rid of one Pokemon and we already got the lead just like that. Look at this. Look at this. See what predicting see what predicting your opponent's lead can do for your for you and a Wi-Fi battle and your team. It's actually really, really good. A uh, really quick reminder, make sure you guys leave a like on this video because this Wi-Fi battle is gonna be pretty good. My opponent has a straight up OU team. Part UU, I guess, because Tapu Bulu isn't OU like it was in Generation 7. Dragon Knight comes out. I do fear the... I do fear the Dragon Dance. So I'm going to Anchor Shot this boy. Yeah, Dragon Dance it is. I'm going to Anchor Shot this boy so he don't leave. He's not going to go bye-bye. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and Anchor Shot so he doesn't... He can't switch out, essentially. Look at this beautiful animation. Multi-scale is a thing. I should be able to come in and knock this thing out with a, um, with an ice shard. With an ice shard. Um, ice punch is a thing. Ice punch is definitely a thing. I feel like I still need my Dalamize, though, because of the Swampert. So, because of that, I still need, I need Lucario for sure. I think I need the Slow King. I definitely need Slow King. There ain't nothing about, I think, I definitely need him. I'm gonna go with Zoomer, predicting the Dragon-type move. And I think we'll be okay. Matthias' Dragonite is looking very scary to us. Very, very scary. Here comes your boy, Izumi. Fire Punch. I resist that. This is easy. We taking that like a champion. Okay. I'm not going to Belly Drum here. I'm just going to straight up play rough. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Extreme Speed. I don't care about that. We should be able to take it. Pops our Citrus Berry. So we don't get the chance to Belly Drum, unfortunately. Which is okay. It is okay. And then play rough should take out this Dragon Knight. Look at this. Look at this. 4-0 to start things off. 4-0 to start things off. Uh, my, my boy Azumarill. My boy Azumi. Well, Azumi is my female shiny Azumarill. I need to come up with a nickname for this boy. Pika Blue. Uh, that's not very original though. Topo Bulu comes out. A beautiful shiny Topo Bulu is absolutely gorgeous. Grassy Surge. Um... This thing does not get Grassy Glide. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. That's why it's in UU. Um, I'm going to play rough here. I, I got no choice but to play rough, to be honest. No choice but to play rough. We're going to we're gonna try to get some damage off on this top of Bulu. And I think I can either go A, Slow King. Because I resist both stabs. Stone Edge. Okay. Imagine we take this. We do not. It's a crit! That crit might have mattered. I don't know. What do I know? It's Pokemon. Okay. So. I think Mammoth Swine is definitely a Pokemon we go out into. 
I do fear the superpower though. So I think we actually go into sloking. We threaten this thing with a uh, with the sludge wave. I think I'm running sludge wave, right? Or sludge bomb? Which one am I running? Yeah, we, we're definitely free, we're free to go for the sludge wave, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. The battle was canceled. Just like that, I win. Easy W, easy W. Let's go on to another. Oh, let's go into another Wi-Fi battle. Okay, we found another Wi-Fi battle. Your boy Dill Pickle, Dill Weedman. I was bringing a really cool team. I've never seen the Galarian Zapdos in battle. I've never seen a Melmetal in battle either, but I've heard that Pokemon is very devastating. Heard the last Wi-Fi wi last Wi-Fi battle that we had just a second ago. You can see what predicting your opponent's lead can do in a battle for you. We're gonna try to do the same in this battle. I think he's gonna start Galarian Zapdos. I think he's gonna start Galarian Zapdos. I don't know. Um, part of me wants to just start off with Zumeral and start blowing things up with, uh, well, Venusaur kind of blocks me from doing shenanigans like that, so. I think Reggie Drago. Reggie Drago is good, except for the Mel Metal, of course. So we're gonna go Reggie Drago, see what he starts with. And we should be able to blow stuff back with, um, with the uh, Dragon Energy. But remember, the Mel Metal is kind of, it's going to stop me from, from uh, blowing everything up. So as long as he, sw he switches into Mel Metal, he'll be okay. Standing on top of a Whale Lord. Dill, your lead card is not bad. I like your lead card. I like your lead card and win or lose, I'm gonna take that boy. I like your your Grookey jacket too. He tries. The um, Raichu comes out. Cool. Cool. We're about to blow this little Raichu up. Reggie Drago comes out to start things off and we're gonna go for a straight up, boom, Dragon Energy. Here we go. Look at this. I think this I think this Raichu's focus sash though. No, it's not. He tries the Raichu, goes down, and Reggie Drago just says, "You know what? I don't care what you think, Raichu. We're gonna, we're about to blow you up, and we're gonna take your soul." That's the kind of stare that Reggie Drago gives to you. That if you encounter it, you're probably gonna get your soul taken by that Dragon Energy, and and a lot of Pokemon do, quite frankly. Okay, my Lodic comes out. Threatens me with the ice type attack, not going to lie. But I really am so tempted to hitting this thing with the dragon energy. I don't think I'll be able to knock it out with it though. So because of that. Who do we go out to? What's our answer for my Lodic? I don't got any electric type moves. I just realized that. Or I got grass with Delamize. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say he goes for the ice type attack. We go Lucario. And we're gonna set up a nasty plot. That's my guess. That's my guess. That's my that's my thought process. Like you can see the gears turning in my head. Whirlpool. Interesting. Now I can't get out. Now I cannot switch out. That's a very underrated move. Now that I think about it. Very, very underrated. Okay. I really don't think I can outspeed a Galarian Zapdos. But we're gonna go nasty plot anyways. If you go scald, you go scald. I know I'm getting a little bit greedy going for a nasty plot this early in the battle, but still, I won't. If I get burned, I get burned also. It's, it's gonna suck if I get burned. Okay, because I would be taking double damage there with the whirlpool and the burn. So, okay, we're gonna try to blow this thing back with the Nora Sphere. Let's go, Lucario. Aura Sphere, it hits. Of course, it hits. It's a Nora Sphere. Boom. We, do, we take some damage because of Life Orb. Recover. Okay. That actually proves to me that Reggie Drago can come out and knock this bad girl out. Ah, uh, actually, I don't know anymore. I do not know anymore. You didn't show me the Ice Beam. You showed me Whirlpool. So that means I don't think you're running Ice Beam. I don't think you're running Ice Beam. So what I'm going to do here is go into the boy Dalamize. Or the It, uh, the it Dalamize. Uh, because it's neither boy or girl. They, I'm gonna go to they Dalamize. Um, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go Power Whip here. Try to threaten this thing to switch out or do something. Do something. I really don't think it it's packing the Ice type attack. Withdraws. Okay. I should have gone for an Anchor Shot to trap whatever comes in. Mel Metal. Wow. Okay. This thing got the potential of Gigantamax for sure. And um, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. 
I mean, I can hit it with the Poltergeist. I'm gonna hit it with the Poltergeist to see what item it's running. I think it's a Choice Band, though. I got a feeling it's running Choice Band. I outspeed it because I got 44 speed EVs. So, here we go. Poltergeist, leftovers. Okay. That gives us some information, some useful information at that. What's if we get. Oh, no, that's not good. That's no bueno. That's no good. Okay, substitute comes in play for the Mel Metal. It makes sense that he's running that. I think what I got to keep going for is the um, Poltergeist. I has a chance of missing, unfortunately. And uh, I just jinxed it. Okay, double iron bash. We resist. It hits twice. Come on, Delmize. It it's a crit. It's a crit, ladies and gentlemen. It's a crit. Okay, we got hit twice. That substitute comes back into play, which uh, which upsets me a little bit. This means that we're gonna have to take another out to another po uh, for another Pokemon. Who I have no clue. Can I belly drum a Zumeral? No, I don't think I can. I really don't think I can. So what I'm gonna do here is break this Melmetal substitute by going in for the Aqua Jet. No, I outspeed. No, I still don't want to decrease my attack and defense though, because that's gonna be bad. So Aqua Jet's the best play. Here we go. Breaks it. It, has, it didn't break the sub? Wow. We live it. We live it, which is uh, which is nice. Oh boy, we're in trouble. We are in deep doo-doo right now. I was expecting a choice band metal metal, not a uh, not a uh, substitute leftovers. I'm surprised Aqua Jet didn't uh, break the sub though. I'm very surprised. Well, this thing has high high defense, so at least we break the sub. That means so who do we have left? We got the Mammoth Swine. Does he have any Levitators? I don't think he has any Levitators. So we're going to go into Mammoth Swine. Maybe predict the double switch. We're going to try to predict the double switch. Yeah, that's what we got to do. We're going to go Mammoth Swine here. And I think you're going to go into my low tick. I think you go into my low tick. Yeah. I'm going to hate myself if, if I mispredict here. So if it goes into my low tick... Reggie Drago is the answer. Okay, we're gonna try that out. Mammoth Swine switches out. Can we please get this read right? Can we please get this read right? No. No! Ah, oh, we just lost this Wi Fi battle because of that. It's another crit! <sighs> oh, this is ugly. No, I lost this battle. I should have just gone Earthquake in all reality. I tried to catch him off guard, and it bit me in the butt. So now our wing con is definitely Mammoth Swine. I got no choice but to have my wing con set as Mammoth Swine. I wish I was Scarfed. Right now, I wish I was Scarfed, but I'm not. And I'm weak to the Zapdos. Okay, now Melt Metal comes out. Oh, that is... Uh, Turbo, Turbo Turkey comes out. Who's not a flying type, right? You are a flying type. How? I don't understand. What? Aren't you electric fighting? I'm so confused right now. We just lost to our turbo turkey. We take that very well, surprisingly. Defense does drop, unfortunately. Oh no. That's upsetting. That's highly upsetting. Part of me wants to Scald, try to lower this thing's attack. Um, he's Dynamaxing. <sighs> we lost this one. We lost because of a bad read. We lost because of a bad read. I could have sworn this thing was a electric fighting. I really thought it was an electric fighting type, but it's not. I don't understand how you're a flying type. I do not understand how you're a flying, and I just lost. 
I thought I was a an electric fighting, but I'm 100% wrong about it given that the ice shard is super effective um, I'm not gonna try to dynamax here. I'm not gonna dynamax. There's, there's no need. We're still gonna go down We are still gonna go down. So we're gonna take this L this one this one burns a little bit It aches because we could have had W on that first Wi-Fi battle and that's game Nice job turbo turkey nice job this one hurts it hurts a little bit i'm still taking your lead card deal you know what bit me in the butt i got five zeroed man was uh over predicting i should have just gone for the earthquake i took a lead card that's gonna be it for this video make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this wi-fi battle i'm still i'm upset about this one but also comment down below on your thoughts on this wi-fi battle also who is your vote for hashtag mvp most valuable Pokemon and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.